I do. I like junk food, but that stuff goes beyond junk. It's time to take a bite out of the wackiest treats from across the planet. Here are the 10 crazy junk foods from around the world. Has the whole world gone crazy? Scorpion suckers, USA and Mexico. Oh, oh. Oh. This particular treat dares to push the boundaries of culinary curiosity. Brace yourselves because, yes, these unique creations do indeed exist, and scorpion suckers are exactly what you're imagining. Imagine biting into a sucker, a sweet, sugary delight, only to discover a real scorpion nestled within. It may sound like something straight out of a daredevil's handbook, but these intriguing creations are indeed a reality found in select locations throughout the southwest of the USA and Mexico. These remarkable confections have emerged as a novelty item, capturing the attention of adventurous souls and thrill-seekers alike. They're rare butthole-eating scorpions, and they cost me 2,000 bucks each. Each scorpion sucker boasts an audacious combination of flavors and textures, blending the sweetness of the candy with the intrigue of a genuine arachnid. The scorpion sucker features a real scorpion, an arachnid with its characteristic stinger intact, encased within a clear candy medium. It's a convergence of flavors, textures, and a touch of the unexpected. So if you're ready to embark on a daring, sweet expedition, head to the southwest of the USA or Mexico and seek out these intriguing scorpion suckers. Women's Burger Face Mask, Japan. Your mask is amazing. Say hello to the Women's Burger Face Mask, a creation born out of the observation and ingenuity of a food chain in Japan known as Freshness Burger. Freshness Burger noticed that women in Japan weren't indulging in their delectable burgers as much as their male counterparts. Why, you ask? Well, in Japanese culture, having a petite mouth is considered a beauty standard, and wolfing down a burger in public may not align with that image. Determined to break this barrier and give women the freedom to savor their burgers without scrutiny, Freshness Burger introduced the ingenious Liberation Wrapper. Liberating! A burger wrapper adorned with a printed image of a woman's face. This innovative invention served as a disguise, effectively shielding the eater's mouth from prying eyes and allowing them to savor their burger in peace without any self-consciousness. The impact was astounding. Freshness Burger's sales of female-targeted burgers skyrocketed by a jaw-dropping 213% in just one year. By providing a solution that allowed women to enjoy their burgers without fear of judgment, Freshness Burger tapped into an unmet need and sparked a burger revolution. Pickled Pig's Feet, USA. Oh, this is the last time I feed this boy pickled pig's feet. For well over two centuries, Americans have been savoring a diverse array of pickled goods, and pickled pig's feet have earned their rightful place among them. While pickled pig's feet may not be to everyone's taste, they have become a notable part of American culinary heritage. Originating from the Deep South, pickled pig's feet have garnered a loyal following among those with a predilection for bold and daring flavors. It's a bold flavor fruity, a little earthy. The unique combination of tanginess, robustness, and a touch of southern charm makes this peculiar treat a true standout. The pickling process infuses the pig's feet with a combination of sourness and piquancy, resulting in a taste experience that is truly unforgettable. So if you find yourself seeking a taste sensation that combines tanginess, robustness, and a touch of southern charm, give pickled pig's feet a try. New to Babel Top? Then how about hitting that subscribe button? It's not like we're asking you to try deep fried tarantula. Thanks. New Zealand Burrito Pizza. Look, if you're hungry, I got some frozen pizza burritos. There might be some smuckers in the fridge. This mind boggling fusion comes to us courtesy of none other than Pizza Hut New Zealand, a pizza chain notorious for pushing the boundaries of gastronomic experimentation. Now, Pizza Hut New Zealand has a history of introducing unconventional pies to their menu. We've seen them tantalize our taste buds with a chili dog stuffed crust pizza and even venture into questionable territory with the cheesy Marmite stuffed pizza. But this time, they've set their sights on infusing some south-of-the-border flair into this pizza offering. So what exactly does the burrito pizza entail? Brace yourselves for a flavor explosion. Their stomachs will explode. A bed of mild chili beans topped with a delightful medley of onion, red bell peppers, jalapenos, and juicy tomatoes. As if that weren't enough to get your taste buds tingling, they drizzle on a generous helping of burrito sauce and sprinkle some fiery chili flakes to kick things up a notch. 
And of course, let's not forget about the essential element that holds it all together, the ooey-gooey layer of mozzarella cheese that blankets the entire creation. The result? A pizza experience like no other. The burrito pizza marries the zesty, bold flavors of a burrito with the beloved cheesy goodness of a pizza, creating a harmonious blend that will leave you craving more. Berry Christmas Burger, Japan. They're only available in Japan. Why, you are such a liar. Burger King, ever the master of culinary creativity, decided to sprinkle some Christmas magic onto their menu with the Berry Christmas line of burgers. These burgers were designed to jingle all the way to your taste buds. The star of the show was the Premium Berry Burger, which packed a flavorful punch with its lineup of classic burger ingredients, a juicy beef patty, crispy bacon, fresh lettuce, and juicy tomato. But what truly sets this burger apart was its secret weapon, the crown glory of cranberry sauce. Yep, that's right, cranberry sauce. Burger King took the bold step of introducing cranberry sauce to the mix. Ah, uh, there's the special sauce. <laughs> creating a merry medley of flavors that perfectly captured the essence of the holiday season. Picture taking a bite into a juicy, savory burger, only to be greeted with the delightful tang of cranberry sauce dancing on your palate. It's a surprising combination that somehow works, leaving you with a mouth-watering experience that screams Christmas with every bite. Alas, like all good things, the Berry Christmas Burger was a limited-time affair, only gracing the Burger King menus in Japan for the 2014 festive season. It was a tantalizing glimpse into the world of unconventional flavor combinations an invitation to step outside the realm of traditional holiday fare and embrace the unexpected. Crown Crust Pizza, Middle East. Coming up, one pizza with alternative crust. Oh, yummy, yummy! Prepare to witness the meeting of two culinary powerhouses, the pizza and the cheeseburger, in a creation so audacious it will make your taste buds do a double take. Enter the Crown Crust Pizza, an awe-inspiring creation straight from the ingenious minds at Pizza Hut, specifically crafted for the adventurous palates of the Middle East. Pizza Hut has always been known for pushing the boundaries of pizza innovation, from constructing crusts out of mozzarella sticks to adorning pies with chicken tenders, they've never been afraid to throw unconventional ingredients into the pizza oven and see what comes out. But perhaps one of their most extravagant and regal inventions to date is the Crown Crust Pizza. That's exotic. This glorious pizza-burger hybrid takes the concept of a cheeseburger to new heights. Imagine a delectable pizza topped with all the classic cheeseburger fixings. Succulent beef patties, gooey melted cheese, crisp lettuce, ripe tomatoes, and tangy sauce. But that's not all. The piece de resistance lies in the crown-like crust, adorned with cheeseburger gems. These gems are little flavorful morsels that add an extra punch of burger bliss to every bite. The Crown Crust Pizza is a bold combination of two iconic dishes, the pizza and the cheeseburger. It's a fusion that blurs the lines between traditional meal categories and ventures into uncharted territory. Guinea pigs, Peru. Mexican does pig, I don't eat pig, I've already told you. When it comes to culinary curiosities, one might not expect a cute and cuddly companion to take center stage. However, in certain regions of Peru, guinea pigs, yes, those adorable little pets, have gained quite the gastronomic reputation. In this unique corner of the world, these furry creatures are not only cherished as companions, but also revered as a specialty dish. In Peru, guinea pigs are served up in various ways that might make it do a double take. Imagine strolling through a bustling market, and there, before your eyes, you spot guinea pigs fried up and on a stick, ready to be devoured by adventurous eaters. This unconventional culinary presentation showcases the guinea pig's succulent meat. These meats are a tasty treat! Providing a savory experience that blends novelty with tradition. But that's not all. For those seeking an even more authentic guinea pig encounter, the pachamanca is a Peruvian dish that takes things to a whole new level. In this traditional preparation, guinea pigs are included as part of a larger ensemble. The pachamanca involves baking a variety of meats, including these furry friends, using hot stones. This ancient cooking method imparts a unique flavor and creates a communal feast that celebrates the diversity of ingredients found in the region. While the thought of dining on guinea pigs may evoke mixed emotions, it serves as a reminder of the vast diversity of culinary traditions around the globe. And 
the boundaries we often set around what is considered acceptable to eat. Maple Snow Taffy, Canada. It's Maple Maple Maplelicious! Taffy on the Snow, a unique and mouth-watering treat that combines the natural sweetness of maple syrup with the wintry charm of freshly fallen snow. This sugary confection, known as Maple Taffy or Tire d'Arable in Canada, holds a special place in the traditional culture of Quebec, Eastern Ontario, New Brunswick, and Northern New England. Maple taffy is created by carefully boiling maple sap to a precise temperature, just past the point where it would transform into maple syrup, but not long enough to become maple butter or sugar. The syrup is heated until it reaches approximately 234 degrees Fahrenheit. So hot! creating a thick and rich liquid bursting with the natural flavors of maple. In the snowy regions where this delectable treat reigns supreme, the hot maple liquid is poured onto a bed of clean, fresh snow. As the liquid encounters the cold surface, it quickly begins to thicken, creating a luscious, chewy texture that is simply irresistible. To enjoy this whimsical delight, one can either use a small wooden stick, like a popsicle stick, or a metal dinner fork to lift the taffy from the snow. The hardened taffy can then and be savored, offering a delightful combination of sweetness and coolness that perfectly captures the essence of winter. Lutefisk, Nordic countries. Look at Lutefisk. Santa doesn't get cookies in Minnesota? With its origins deeply rooted in Nordic cuisine, Lutefisk continues to hold a prominent place on dinner tables across the region and has migrated to certain parts of North America. The name Lutefisk itself offers a glimpse into its unique preparation process. Translated as live fish, this dish involves aging whitefish in a rather surprising ingredient, lye. The fish undergoes a transformation as it's immersed in a lye solution, resulting in a distinct flavor and texture that sets it apart. When it comes to lutefisk, it's often said that you either love it or loathe it. Hate it or love it? One cannot discuss this dish without acknowledging its reputation for a strong aroma that can fill the room. However, this distinctive scent is part of the allure for those who have developed a taste for this traditional delicacy. In terms of texture, lutefisk takes on a unique and somewhat gelatinous consistency. This characteristic is a result of the lye treatment, which alters the fish's composition and provides a fascinating mouthfeel that enthusiasts find intriguing. While lutefisk may not be everyone's cup of tea, it remains an integral part of Nordic culinary heritage. Its enduring popularity in the region and its presence in select communities in North America reflect the deep cultural ties associated with this dish. Deep Fried Tarantula, Cambodia. Sometimes I eat spiders. This Cambodian snack food has captivated and startled travelers for years, offering a culinary experience that is equal parts unsettling and fascinating. Originating from the vibrant culinary scene of Cambodia, deep-fried tarantulas have earned a reputation as a unique and daring delicacy. The tarantulas used for this unconventional delicacy are a specific species known as aping in Khmer. With a leg span approximately the size of a human palm, these formidable spiders are either bred and specially constructed holes in the ground or collected from their natural habitats. The preparation process involves frying the tarantulas until their legs become stiff. Deep fried to perfection. The spiders are then seasoned with an array of ingredients ranging from the ever-controversial MSG to aromatic garlic. The end result is a snack with a contrasting texture where the crispy outer shell gives way to a soft and somewhat gelatinous center. While deep-fried tarantulas may not be the first choice for arachnophobes, they have become a curious and sought-after snack for adventurous eaters looking to push the boundaries of their culinary experiences. So if you ever find yourself in Cambodia, particularly in the bustling markets or street food stalls, keep an eye out for this intriguing snack. Looking for more? Just tap or click another video. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.